Hello guys, welcome to Food Blitz. Boston may not be a huge city, but it makes up for its size with its food options. From burritos to donuts, Boston has it all. Boston has built up a reputation as a food city, right with its world-renowned seafood, classic New England fare, as well as a growing international culinary scene. Whether you're a newcomer to the city or a regular, don't miss out on these bucket list level culinary experiences. Any trip to Boston for its food should include at least one of these signature meals. Now it's on you to eat your way through this list. Trust us, you want to try every meal. You'll regret it if you don't. So make sure to watch till the end as we show you the top 10 meals you can try in Boston in 48 hours. Before we proceed, kindly subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to get access to more videos like this from us. Number 10. Clam Chowder Clam Chowder or Chowder, as the locals say has been around for hundreds of years because of a couple of settlers presumed to be British, French, or Nova Scotia who ushered the thick soup into New England within the early 18th century. Although there are a few of various styles, Boston has become a haven for the New England variety, a white chowder crafted out clams, onions, milk or cream, potatoes, and thickened with oyster crackers. Its clam chowder is distinct white color, credited to the addition of milk, that separates it from the other chowder. Lately, chowder is ubiquitous in only about every restaurant in Boston, but few make it also as Union Oyster House, who's been serving up bowls of the thing since 1826. If the wait is just too long at Union Oyster House, a bowl from James Hook & Company or Legal Seafoods is simply as satisfying. The Boston Sale Lofts Chowder is that the perfect antidote to a chilly Boston day. Use the bread basket to take in all the creamy goodness and you'll have a remarkably filling meal and the harbor side views aren't too shabby either. Number 9. Lobster Rolls The lobster roll is a must-try dish when visiting Boston. While Boston's northern neighbor may scoff at the thought of eating a lobster roll outside of Maine, Boston has certainly become a destination for the summertime meal. The sandwich, often served on a griddled, buttered roll, arrives flush with pink lobster meat and showered with warm melted butter or mayo. In a town filled with lobster rolls, one stands out, the nice and cozy lobster roll at Neptune's. Though you'll choose for it to be warm or cold, definitely choose the nice and cozy one. This version contains no celery or other fillers, and is dressed with clarified butter aka heaven, and is served with a side of crisp fries. For something a touch less buttoned up, there's the No Frills Yankee Lobster Company on the harbor, touting all claw and knuckle meat. Number 8. Cannolis Cannolis typically feature a rather sweet ricotta filling. There's a touch of a cannoli rivalry in Boston. Where to get the flaky Italian pastry, hollow pastry tubes piped with sweet ricotta cheese and peppered with chocolate, nuts, or fruit, is a frequent argument among Bostonians. Does one head to the north end to Mike's Pastry, a family-run bakery that's been making cannolis presented in white boxes tied with string since 1946? Or does one hit modern pastry down the road, where three generations of bakers are hand-filling shells? You'll simply need to try both. Mike's Pastry is the emblematic jewel of Boston's Italian North End. Lines reach out the door as tourists clamber to get a taste of their famous cannolis. This title is well-earned, but it doesn't end there until you try their simultaneously creamy and crunchy delights. Number 7. Baked Beans Boston baked beans are a hearty and filling dish. Boston wasn't nicknamed Bean Town by chance, the name stems from the city's beloved baked beans. Contrary to its name, baked beans aren't baked, they're stewed, sweetened with syrup or molasses, and swirled with bacon or pork. The old-fashioned, slow-cooked recipe is usually carved into at a variety of pubs, like Bean Town Pub, The Fours, and Marliaf, a French restaurant that delivers a pile of smoky beans during a cast-iron dish. Number 6. Fish and Chips Boston has adopted this British staple to theirs. Although it's believed that the primary fish and chips shop was opened within the mid-19th century in London, Boston has welcomed British favorite together of its own. Whitefish, usually cod, pollock, or haddock, are battered in flour and deep-fried until golden and crackly, and paired with a platter of oil-slicked fries. Bostonians flock to the Barking Crab Harbor Side Shack that plops fish and chips, plus a side of house-made tartare sauce, during a red plastic basket. Others swear by Matt Murphy's pub's version, crispy cod presented in the newspaper. Number 5. Boston Cream Pie French chef Augustine Francois Anezin created the Boston Cream Pie in the mid-19th century. There's perhaps nothing more Boston than the very dessert that's named after the town itself. Boston cream pie has long been a staple in Boston, ever since 1856 when it had been first created at the Parker House Hotel, now the Omni Parker House Hotel, 
baked by French chef Augustine Francois and Ezin. The pie was mentioned originally as a chocolate cream pie, with two rounds of cake bathed in custard painted with rum syrup, and finished with shiny chocolate fondant. The cake remains available at the hotel, but there are many great versions in both cake and donut form at Flower Bakery, Union Square Donuts, and Magnolia Bakery. Most people still say that the hotel's restaurant still makes the simplest version around. It's as beautiful because it is delicious and enjoys a slice at JFK's and Jackie Kennedy's table marked number 40 for the last word Boston experience. Boston cream pie is also referred to as the official state dessert of Massachusetts. Number 4. Oysters. Briny oysters pulled from the ocean are plenty in Boston, especially during the city's self-proclaimed oyster hours. Few are as wonderfully fresh because of the ones Island Creek Bar serves. Sourced from the nearby Massachusetts coastal towns of Duxbury, Plymouth, Barnstable, and Wellfleet. Shoot them back straight or squeeze a fistful of juice on top. Stop by La Braza, Russell House Tavern, or Boston Public Marketplace for their $1 oyster hours. Number 3. Fenway Frank. Hot dogs and baseball make a winning combination. Let's be frank, Red Sox fans are even as wanting to watch America's favorite pastime in action as they're to double down on Franks and a beer at the sport. The hot dogs are a mainstay at the park since it opened over 100 years ago. These are boiled and grilled, slipped into a split-top bun, and crowned with a mountain of relish or squeeze of mustard. Sure, you'll get a hot dog in any city, but this long-standing tradition feels purely Boston. Number 2. Grilled Cheese and Truffle Fries The famous Roxy Grilled Cheese food truck has finally landed a permanent restaurant location in Alston, so now you don't need to look everywhere in the town to get your grilled cheese fix. Every sandwich here is lit, and they always switch it up with interesting ingredients. From the classic grilled cheese to pâté de foie gras and peaches, there's something for everybody and don't forget to obtain a side of truffle fries while you're at it, because why not? Number 1. Lee Waffle at Zinnikens If you happen to identify the telltale pink of the Zinnikens waffle truck when you're in Copley Square someday, run toward it at full speed and immediately enjoy a soft and chewy Lee waffle or simply attend their newly opened Cambridge location. With toppings like Belgian chocolate Nutella, strawberries, bananas, and cookie butter, you want to let go of your ego permanently. And that's it for today guys, now when you go on a trip to Boston, make sure to try all these meals, and trust me when I say you wouldn't want to leave again. Which of these meals is making you salivate so much that you can't wait to hop on the next flight to Boston? You can let us know in the comment section below as you like and share our video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss videos like this from us. Thanks for watching, bye for now.